Did you go to wavywayne.com, cop you one of them premium recording and mixing templates, and now you ain't sure how to use it? Well, just hold tight. I'm going to help you out. What up, y'all? This your boy, Wavy Wayne, and I'm here today to break down how to use a template in Pro Tools. Now, of course, the best templates can be found at wavywayne.com, but you know, they got stock Pro Tools templates. You probably, you know, can find some templates. You can even make your own recording template, but I'm gonna walk you through today, step-by-step, step, how you can use the templates that you find on my website, wavywayne.com, all right? First thing first, when you go to wavywaiting.com and choose your recording template, now I have some genre specific templates like hip hop, R&B templates. I also have one template that's specifically for um, anybody that's using the Waves Bundle plugins, all right? And most of the other templates will be just stock plugins um, being used in those. So if you just had a stock Pro Tools plugins, those will work great for you. Make sure you read the description and know which template is gonna work, all right? So when you get the template, you're gonna receive a download link right there after you purchase that template. And then there also will be another download link Link sent to your email just to make sure that you can download this okay you're gonna download this and it's gonna be a PTXT now PTXT is the Pro Tools 10 template file format now yeah I'm sure y'all used to working with PTX's but a PTXT is a slightly different file and it's gonna allow you to create a brand new session based on that template that you've chosen all right now the first thing, all you gotta do is simply double click on that PTXT file wherever you find it at, or in, if you already have Pro Tools open, you can go to File, choose Open Session, just like you would any other session, and find this PTXT and open that up. Once you do that, the new session dialog box will appear, and this is where you're gonna choose your session's parameters. Now, I already set this for you, so unless you have uh, a preference on other parameters, then you don't have to change any of this. I always like to rock my sessions at 24-bit, 48 kilohertz, and you know I'm using Wave as my file type, baby. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hit OK. The next process is gonna to be to choose a location to save your session. So important, make sure you save your session in the right spot, all right? At least somewhere where you can find it. So we're gonna name this YouTube Fam. My YouTube Fam. You see, once I open up this session, there's already tracks, there's already effects and inserts and scenes. Everything is already routed for you. Now, let's go ahead and break down what we need to do on a track by track, okay? So, first thing first, I have a track for your beat. I'll have this trim plug in on that track, so on that beat track, so that when you import your beat, it will already be at an optimal level for you to go ahead and start recording, okay? Now, sometimes you'll bring your beat in and it's just too loud, so I'm using that trim plug in to attenuate the level of the beat so it's at that optimal record level for your session, all right? And if we got a vocal track with some uh, effects, some of my favorite uh, uh, vocal processing effects right here on the inserts. And then on the send side here, I'm sending over to some of my favorite time-based effects, like a couple of delays, a couple of uh, a reverb, and a wide effect. Those tracks are represented down here in green. All right. Now, to be specific, this is the Wavy Wayne Waves plugin template that I'm using right here. Um, so this template that you might be using might vary a little bit, but the way that we use them is pretty much going to be the same, okay? Now, once I got my template open, one of the first things I'm going to do generally in a session is go ahead and uh, import whatever beat I'm going to use. So I'm going to just go ahead and hit Shift Command I, navigate over to the desktop where I've saved this instrumental. Let's just, uh, we can just add that for now. Done. And instead of pulling this over into a new track in Pro Tools, I'm just gonna actually go ahead and drop this off into my clips list because I already have a track that I'm gonna use for my beat. Now that the new file is over in my clips list, I'm just gonna go over to my uh, little selector button here and I'm going to drag and drop this file from the clips list onto that beat track. Just make sure I get it all the way over to the beginning. So we starting at the top and I can just collapse the clips list. 
right? From here, I just need to start recording. I'm gonna have Lydia go get in the booth. Before she does that though, I'm gonna make sure I check my playback engine and be sure that the hardware buffer size is suitable for recording. Seems like that's the last thing I did. Remember, when you set in your hardware buffer size, it's gonna be high for mixing, low for recording. This will help you to reduce the latency. And we know, no, no artists wanna be in the booth with a late signal screen. They gonna be screaming at you. Man, they got a delay in my headphones, man. I can't, it's an echo in my headphone, man. I just don't know what's going on. So make sure you check that before you start recording, player. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit OK. And Lydia, are you uh, ready to record? Yes, let's do this. Here we go. She's gonna go ahead and get in the booth. So I'm just gonna record on my track as I'm waiting on Lydia to get in the booth and uh, tell me that she's ready. Hey, Lydia, whenever you ready, just uh, give me a holler. Oh, hold up. I might need to do something. Let's do it. Okay, you ready? Yes, I'm ready. All right, sounds good. Here we go. Now that's one take shouty right there. All right, one take shouty. You feeling good about that? Uh, you know, I got a little experience. Now, I do have a little delay and reverb on there. Is that cool for you? Yeah, that sounds fine. Cool. I mean, you do, do you want more delay, more reverb? I can do that real easily. Uh, no, it actually sounds pretty drippy. <laughs> See, it's already drippy, baby. You know, this already sounding like the mix is pretty much done. Again, we already hitting her with some compression. We already getting her with a little EQ. And, and without touching anything, you see, I'm already using some a uh, little reverb and a little delay. And I can easily at any time, even during recording, increase the level of reverb or decrease it and delay all my effects. That's the beauty of using this template is that everything that you need to start your mix, even as you are recording, is already set up for you and you can just work a whole lot quicker. Now, you're gonna say, Wavy Wayne, there's only one vocal track in that session, baby. Well, let me tell you this. Of course there's only one vocal track because I like to keep my sessions clean. Now, after she's done with that take, if I need another track, all I have to do is simply duplicate the um, vocal track here. So using the shortcut, Shift Option D, or you can go to the track menu and choose Duplicate. You can even right click on the track's nameplate and choose Duplicate. But before I duplicate this track, there's a few things that I wanna address here in the Duplicate dialog box. One, active playlist. I don't need that on, so I'm gonna turn that off, all right? Alternative play, alternative, alternate playlist. Can I read today? I'm gonna turn that off, we don't need that. Automation, typically I don't wanna copy automation from one track to another. But if I leave inserts and sends and group assignments turned on, then the new track will come over identical in settings to the current track that I'm working on. I just hit okay, and boom, I got a whole new track already set up the wavy way. Hey Lydia, you ready to do that hook? Let's do it. Let's do it. Come on, this is a video. You know, we ain't gotta show them though. <laughs> She nasty. All right, <laughs> here we go. I can't let you go. We gotta hold it down. I ain't walking away. No, no, no. I ain't walking away. No, no, no. Oh, my. oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm trying to think, did we do all of that last time? Nah, it's cool. We can stop there. Okay. All right, so just as easy as that, we got a second track, and again, to get another one, I'm just gonna shift option D. You see I don't have to uh, 
uh, uncheck those things. Pro Tools will remember that. Just hit OK. And I can continue recording and making new tracks. All right. I'll even take this one step further. OK. Um, before you start recording and import your beat, if you want to add this template to your Pro Tools template folder, so it's already in that little section when you start up a session and you can just hit create a session from template, you can have it there. Um, this is how you would go about that. Again, you don't want to do this after you've already started recording and import beats because these audio files will come along with it. But here we go. I'm just going to go to file save as a template. When I do this, I can choose what category and I have a category on my computer called wavy temps. You might want to go ahead and create a category for that as well. Um, but you see, you can go to any of these templates, maybe record and mix and you can save it there. And I can call this the YouTube fam template and hit OK. And the next time when I go to start a new session, if I just hit command in here, if I hit create a session from template, choose my category record and mix and scroll down YouTube fam template is right there in the session to open up just like we saw it in the beginning all right thanks for watching y'all this is how you set up a wavy wayne template this is how you can save your templates and use them effectively in your session i hope this helped you if it did give this video a thumbs up make sure you go over to wavywayne.com copy some of this studio swag copy some of these dope dope templates that's going to take your mixes from zero to 100 real quick you feel me and uh most of all be dope <laughs>